every plumber has its day. What do I mean by that? When you have a leak in your own house. We have a water spot right here on a popcorn ceiling. We don't know what we have, but what we do have upstairs is we have a bathroom. We don't have no tub access. There is no trap door. I don't want to cut a hole in the ceiling. It's popcorn, first of all. So I'm going to pull the plate off. It's a mowing. I'm going to pull the tub spout off. I already caulked it. We still have a leak, I think. Do you, what do you think? Come here. Tell me. And uh, of course, under the watchful eye of Boss Lady, her precious popcorn, her precious wall. So happy sundown. I'm going to take a look and see what we got here. Let's see if we can fix this leak without cutting no holes. Can you tell me where the tub leak is? Okay, here's the culprit. The tile and the grout all look good. I did caulk around the plate and I did caulk around the spout without taking it off. A little shortcut I took, hoping that would solve the problem. And we don't think it did. There's the tub trap door, that isn't there. Anyway, I'm hoping I ain't gotta cut that open. I got a feeling that it might be this. It's gonna be real iffy. I could take this up, re-putty it, and put it back together without opening the ceiling or the trap door. That's gonna be one of our options. I'm gonna pop this off, check out the gasket, take this mowing tub spout off see what we got make sure the holes caught and i'm going to take this off i'm going to eliminate all possibilities so we're not making no money here today This could be a source. This could be a source. So what we'll do is we'll caulk this real good. Do a nice bead of silicone around there. House is purchased like this. And uh, it is what it is. All right, that's that. That's one possibility. Let's take a look here at the trip plate, which is just a touch toe, which I don't know where the touch toe is. So I gotta replace that also. That's missing. No washer. So, wow. What I'm gonna do, it's pretty tight, I don't know why. Oh, this is a steel tub. Oh, geez. I'm gonna put a bead of caulk around here. We are not trying to cut no holes here, so we're gonna caulk that. That's definitely a leak possibility. Looks to me like we're gonna cut the hole. But we're gonna try not to, that's for sure. All right. I just don't like that at all. Oh boy.
I know boss lady's not going to like it. Mm, mm, mm. Must be mowing week. This is another mowing legend. bring the boss lady in to explain. So here's the plate. We got water leaking through perhaps as by the stains. I'll be honest with you. I really want to know if that little cutout in the plate is designed to let water drain off. And I'm going to say yes. If you know, if you know out there, leave a comment below and let me know. I really appreciate it. All right, so we're going to say this is okay. I really think it's the waste and overflow, uh, the overflow part. And I need to check on my putty situation. So I'm going to... I'm going to pull this out and redo it without cutting the ceiling or cutting the trap. Let's go explain it to the boss. This is going to be good. Did we find the leak? Who's the best kitty? This is Monroe, everybody. Marcy? I want to show you the leak upstairs. You found it? We have a couple situations. Is it bad? We, we could be cutting a hole in your ceiling. No, in the ceiling? Yes. Ceiling. No, 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 no. Katie, this isn't, this isn't going to go good. We're going to put a little hole in the ceiling. No, no hole. No hope. That's enough. Here's what we got. I don't see how you can see that anything is leaking just from that. I'm going to recall this. This could be a potential leak. It was a little damp looking. But I think the leak is this. Listen to this. This is supposed to be waterproof. The overflow. So can you just pop that out and put a new one in? Yeah, by cutting a hole in the back wall. So what I'm going to do for today, I'm going to put a bead of silicone around here on the inside. What was that noise you were making? Yeah, what is that? This is loose. There's no washer in there. Why isn't there a washer? So that hasn't been a washer in there for 25 years and now all of a sudden it's leaking? You hear this? This is my own house. I can't even charge more for that comment. You're hyperventilating right now. I'm a plumber. This is what we do. We decipher what's leaking. This should be nice and solid. There should be a rubber gasket in here. It might be, but it might be dry rotted. Did you see it on the back of it when you took it off? If it was dry rotted? It goes inside the tub. All right, you're done. Get out. She's done. Here come the dumb questions so now. So you're going to put caulk around that hole now? I'm going to put caulk around this seam. And the only way to take that out is to cut a hole in the bedroom wall. They don't make something easy. You should invent Yeah, they it. make something easier. Yeah, yeah, we can take out the tub. You want to take out the tub? No, I mean, but I can't believe they don't make something. They, she can't believe it. You should invent something then because that's crazy. You either got to cut a hole or take out the tub. Take out the tub is a joke. Okay. There should be a trap door back there. So whoever built this house back in 1980 should have had a trap door. Marcy's not too happy right now, everybody. I'm gonna pull this off. Right. I'm gonna re-putty this. All while not damaging the ceiling. This looks good though. 
That does look good. This looks really good. What do you think, plumber? I think you 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 replaced this years ago, if I remember correctly. Oh really? Or maybe Pat did. Yeah. Maybe that maybe that explains why that's in such good shape. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Huh. You you brought a new one of these. Wow. Alright, yeah. so that's what I'm gonna do. For today, I'm gonna caulk this. I'm gonna do this. This is in good shape. And this is all the <laughs> This is all <laughs> It's not funny, Chuck. It's not funny at all. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. I don't, have, I don't have enough Thank punch. God I'm not a paying customer. Hold on. Look at that. Hold on. Hold on. I can make this work. Mm, okay. Here we go. He's burying it again. We're going for it. We got enough putty. I'll have putty left over when I'm done doing this. She's very stressful. <laughs> I love plumbing. Who doesn't love plumbing? First thing we're going to do, we're going to put this plate back because I do believe this plate is good. So that's going to be the first task. I could put a little shot right there. A little shot of caulk. Alright. We're going to caulk this spout. This is definitely a leaker. I know I usually use potty. I don't have enough potty. <laughs> Keep the copper clean for the set screw. We have a nice sealed spout hole now. Okay. I actually like mowing. I like mowing. Okay, top spout. special shout out to Harry because yesterday I used this pick or all to uh, pop a cartridge out or check that to pop a horseshoe clip out just because I thought of it but here the horseshoe clips designed for you to do that in the hole boom, pops it right up thank you Harry even as old dogs are learning daily Or something. Cheesy steel tub. Maybe there is a washer in there and it's just can't snug because the steel is so thin. So I want to caulk it anyway and then really tighten it. You heard the wifey. She didn't want no holes in her ceiling. So we're going to give her the old caulk job. Because you know what's coming next. The trap door. <laughs> she don't know, but I know it. We all know it. I'd rather just cut a hole. 
hole in the wall, but not today. Not today. Here goes the final journey right here. The most important one. Guess what? The putty is dry. Oh yeah, look at this. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going for it. I don't think it's gonna move. Please don't move. It looks good. Oh man. I'm gonna check the steel tub, that's what I really wanna see. Alright. This is it right here. It looks pretty good. Alright. Where's my buddy? So I got I'm playing with fire right now. I'm gonna have just a little bit left over. That's perfect. Oh yeah. Look at this folks. I'm actually feeling pretty good about this. Now, famous last words. CB2 and Angelo, who are not here right now. Do not cross thread the tub boot. All right. Nice and slow. Here comes the putty. I told you I had just, just a little bit left over. I think we got it. I feel pretty good about this. If not, we're gonna cut the trap hole in the back in the back wall. Tomorrow, I will pick up a pop-up for this waste mirror flow, which is a touch a tiptoe. Okay. And we'll solve that issue. And like I said, all the caulk tile, everything looks good, dude. You know, it really does. I'm going to blame the wall for the spout hole, the dried up putty, which could have been seeping on the waste and overflow, and this overflow for the tub could have been an issue too. So we're going to go with them three things there. And the tile. And the ground out here and the cloth all looks good. The shower doesn't get used much, but it just started getting used again. So we have a little brown spot in the ceiling. Hopefully we got it. And hopefully there goes another satisfied customer. While I'm here still in the vicinity of the bathroom job, I just fixed up my own place. I want to stop on YouTube and thank a few people just from yesterday uh, in the comments section like I said I was just working on mowing stuff and I just did another mowing right out that gate I already threw a shout out to Harry May for 
straightened me out on the uh, awl for the horseshoe clip. It is designed to pop an awl in there and pop it straight up. And I got my man Armando. CB, my man, you're a good teacher, very patient. You will need a third van for Angelo. I hope that is the case, because we're ready. Pat, Patrick Simone, I feel your pain, brother. Just, <laughs> just join them, trying to keep it cool. But it looks like the boys are coming along just fine, and that's the plan. We hope they uh, progress, and they are progressing at a slow rate, but it's all good. And the Rats Riot, always in here. Throttle Bottle, he's got the best statements. Floyd Albright, thank you. Horace, Horace set me straight on a couple things. He was, he wanted to know why I didn't re repipe the uh, iron pipe house. They didn't want to do it, but I understand. I wanted to do it. You know, we uh, we love to repipe a house, but I'll be honest with you, that's a knockdown. So they're not going to dump that money in. But we have a good situation coming up with that place, and I'm actually coming out with the video. They have a an old Utica boiler that it needs to be replaced. So we're going to find out real quick in the next two or three months what's going to happen but uh, again I thank everybody for their support and uh, we're going to keep plumbing and teaching these young bucks the trade and again I thank you and have a great night